as we get closer to Election Day, we focus on some of the races that you'll have to decide, including all 38 state Senate races across the state. Tonight, 24 Hour News 8 political reporter Rick Alvin is here with another race that he's watching. Rick? Yep, right here in our backyard, 29th Senate District, currently held by Republican Dave Hildenbrand. Now, the open seat, created by term limits, covers Grand Rapids, East Grand Rapids, Ada and Cascade Townships, as well as the city and township of Lowell, and all the way down into south uh, east part of the county. Current... Uh, Two current state House members will square off in two weeks to see who will get that job. For Republican Representative Chris Afendoulas and Democratic Representative Winnie Brinks, this race means either extending their time in Lansing or staying in Kent County starting in January. We recently talked with both of them about what is at stake in this contest. You know, this is just a, a very exciting year, I think, for Democrats. We've seen just so much renewed energy uh, since the 16 election and so many people who realized that they needed to be more involved. And um, so for me, you know, I've been in the House for six years and I've been listening to constituent concerns all that time. And uh, the same things are coming up again and again and again. And I think people are ready for change. Well, I think when you look at what's going to happen to in the future of Michigan, um, we've had great things going in this state the last eight years. Uh, we've had um, tremendous job growth, revenues are up. You know, when you, when you think about where we were eight years ago and what the unemployment rate was, people were leaving the state. Both members have already been dealing with a problem that will be part of their job no matter which one wins, and that is PFAS in the area they hope to represent. Well, first and foremost, and, and what I've focused on, and uh, instead of you know, trying to use this for political purposes is what are the health impacts on people and how are we going to respond? So, you know, let's go back to last December. I helped marshal through the supplemental spending plan, which said, all right, we're going to now require testing of all our schools. We're going to require all municipal water systems to test, provide the funding for that program. Afendula says that plan is working, but for her part, Brinks thinks the state needs to be more proactive instead of what she calls reactive. Good job assessing the situation or getting started on assessing the situation, uh, but we really need to be much more precautionary and much more um, proactive about protecting people from the contaminants in their water. And I have some bills that would do just that with PFAS. Uh, it's been really difficult to get the Republican leadership to even consider taking those up. So now it's two weeks mm -hmm. from an election that will elect every state senator, 38. 26 of them will be brand new faces because they're all term limited out. Over in the House, same thing, 110 seats all up for grabs. Two weeks from today. Mm -hmm. Are your mailboxes full yet? Yeah, they're jam-packed. <laughs> for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> A lot going on. Uh, yep, looking forward to it. Thank you, Rick.